Hello, do you know your blood type? No, nope. don't worry, many people don't. Even if you do know the type of blood running through your veins and arteries, you might not realize that depending on your blood type, you could be more prone to certain conditions and even some diseases than people with other blood types. And there's one blood type that's considered the most dangerous of all. Could it be yours? Hopefully not. In this video, I'm going to explain everything about blood types. Which diseases are linked to certain blood groups? Whether the blood type diet has any scientific basis? And you learn all about the most dangerous blood type in the world. So stay until the end. But before we dive in, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our health tips and turn on the notification bell. It's also really important that you share this knowledge with your friends and family because when it comes to your health, our health, it's worth sharing. So share it and tell me, what's your blood type? Have you ever had any issues related to it? Have you ever donated blood? What part of the US or the world are you watching from? Write it below. Let's go! How do you identify your blood type? Things would be much simpler for hospitals and blood banks if everyone had the same blood type. But that's not the case. Blood types are determined by the presence or absence of certain antigens. An antigen is a substance that can trigger an immune response if the body recognizes it as foreign. Think of antigens as a kind of team jersey, while your immune system is the gatekeeper. If your immune system recognizes the antigen as its own, it lets it pass. If it doesn't, well, the immune system will attack and destroy the intruder. There are several ways to classify blood, but most of us only need to worry about two, the ABO system and the RH factor. The ABO system is determined by the presence or absence of two antigens, A and B, on the surface of red blood cells. If you have antigen A, your blood type is A. If you have antigen B, your blood type is B. If you have both, it's AB. If you have neither, it's O. The RH system depends on the presence or absence of a protein called the RH factor, which can be positive or negative. Combining this gives us the eight most common blood types. A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, O positive, O negative, AB positive, and AB negative. In US, the most common is O positive, followed by A positive, and the rarest is AB negative. Why is so important to know your blood type? Mainly because if you need a blood transfusion or to donate blood to someone who does, it could literally mean the difference between life and death. People might need blood after a serious accident, a major surgery, during cancer or leukemia treatment, childbirth complications, or internal bleeding. For those with rare blood types, especially AB negative and O negative, blood bank supplies can be limited. O negative, though, not extremely rare, about 7% of the population, is known as the universal red cell donor because it has no A, B, or RH antigens. So any recipient's immune system will accept it. That's why O negative blood is used most often in emergencies. But the downside is that O negative people can only receive from their own type. AB positive is the universal plasma donor 
and can also receive blood from anyone because it lacks antibodies that attack A or B antigens. Remember, your immune system will attack any antigen not already present in your own blood. For instance, some with type B blood who receives type A blood would have a severe, even fatal reaction because their plasma contains anti-A antibodies that cause the donated red cells to clung together and block circulation. How is your blood type inherited? It's passed down from your parents, one gene from each. For example, in my family, my blood type is B positive and my wife's also B positive. So our children could only have B or O blood types since O is recessive. And that's exactly what happened. My daughter is O negative and my son is B negative. If a child came out A, well, that would raise some serious questions. The rarest and most dangerous blood type in the world. Beyond the usual antigens, there are more than 600 others that can make up very rare blood types. Fortunately, most of them don't affect blood donations or transfusion compatibility. But some people aren't so lucky. Imagine your blood being so rare that only one in six million people could donate to you. Globally, fewer than 50 people are known to have this type. At least four of them live in Brazil and two are sisters. This extremely rare blood type is called RH no or golden blood. Despite the glamorous name, it's not special in a good way. Its red cells are more fragile than normal. And those who have it can only receive blood from other RH no donors. Even RH negative people still have a few RH proteins, just fewer of them. RH no means you have none of the 61 known RH antigens, a complete absence. That's what makes it so rare. Globally, there are fewer than 50 documented cases of RH no blood in the entire world. In the United States, there are likely fewer than 10 known cases. To put that in perspective, about 15% of Americans are RH negative. That's roughly 50 million people. But RH no? There are, we're talking about a handful of people on the entire world. If someone with RH no blood needs a transfusion, their blood might have to be flown from another continent. How to find out your blood type? A complete blood count, CBC, won't tell you. It only shows red and white blood cells and platelets. You need a specific blood typing test or you can simply donate blood where your type will be determined and you will help save up to four lives per donation. Eligible donors are between 18 and 70 years old or 16 plus with parental consent must not have infectious diseases like HIV, hepatitis, malaria, or Chagas that's increasing in the US and can donate every two months for men or three months for women. Do blood types affect diet, personality, or disease risk? Let's go through them. First, the blood type diet. Some claim that certain foods are better or worse for your health depending on your blood type. This idea came from the 1990s bestseller, Eat Right for Your Type. According to it, type O, the hunter, should eat 
more meat, fish and poultry with limited grains and legumes like a paleo diet. Taipei, the agrarian, should avoid red meat and follow a more vegetarian diet. Taibi, the nomad, can eat plants and most meats, but avoid chicken and pork plus some dairy. Type AB, the enigma, a mix of types A and B. While some people claim to feel better following it, scientific studies, including a 2013 review, found no evidence supporting any health benefits of blood type diets. Second, blood type and personality. In Japan, there was once a popular belief that blood type influences personality, like astrology science. But scientific research has found no connections. Third, blood type and disease. Here, there are some real correlations. Type O, lower risk of heart disease and stroke, but higher risk of ulcers and skin cancer. Type A, higher risk of stomach cancer and higher cortisol, stress hormone levels. Type AB, higher risk of memory loss and dementia. Still, as a cardiologist, I can tell you don't blame your blood type for your health problems. It's far more important to monitor your blood pressure, glucose, cholesterol, and lifestyle habits. Well, your blood type cannot be changed, but your lifestyle can. Eat better, exercise, avoid smoking and excess drinking, manage stress, sleep well, and live your life to the fullest. Did you like the video? Which one will you watch next? I'll leave two suggestions. My video about the foods you should remove from your fridge now. And my video about the seven signs on your body that your heart is not well. My name is Andre Wambier, I'm a cardiologist, and this is Dr. Dre Health Tips. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.